BS3 Network, changing the way you listen to podcast. My name is Al High, and you are tuned in to Casual Highlights, the podcast part of the BS3 network. Welcome to another edition of Casual Highlights, the podcast, part of the BS3 network family. My name is Al High. I'm the host and founder of Casual Highlights. And today, this segment of the e Rock Chalk Jayhawk moment. I want to take you back to uh, Sunday, February 25th, 2024. We had the Kansas Jayhawk women defeat the Kansas State Lady Wildcats 58 to 55. Samaya Nichols led all scores with 22 points, 8 for 16 from the field. Tiana Twin Jackson had 11 points, 8 blocks. She was 5'11 from the field. Now, Holly Kersinger, I'm I'm messing her name up, Holly K, or Holly Bear, we can call her, 10.7 rebounds. For Kansas State, Aoka Lee had 14 points, 11 rebounds, double-double, but just shot 7 for 21 from the field. Terrence Sides had 11 points. Now, that's just the stats, the basic stats of what, what was happening in the game. There were some things that I noticed at the game. I was there. I was doing media work. I was a photographer, videographer for this particular game. Number one, it was very warm outside. It was doggone near 70 degrees. So inside Allen Fieldhouse made it hotter because for an in-state game, the K-State faithful travels well. Then you have the, the, the KU fans that were there. So it's about like 9,000 plus in Allen Fieldhouse. I myself have never witnessed a KU women's basketball game almost filled to capacity like that. I mean, I saw it on TV, you know, every now and then. And then you had the women's NIT last year. But to see it in person and to see the energy that was in the building was amazing and phenomenal. So I got to give credit to all the fans who came out to support the Sunflower Showdown, to support women's basketball. I give you a hand clap. I give you a round of applause. Well, it was not really a round of applause. It's just me applauding. Anyway, you get, you get my drift. But that's the, one of the first things I did notice was, was the crowd and the audience and the passion for sports and great sports in particular. Uh, Kansas State. Right now is third place in the Big 12. KU is sitting at the seventh spot, and they've won six of their last seven games. So for this to take place, man, it has been has been phenomenal, and we and we saw a great basketball game. And I think we, I think the big match a lot of people were looking at was the the bigs between Tiana Jackson and Ioka Lee. I will say this, at the beginning of the game, uh, Twin got into foul trouble. That, that, that's Tayana. She did get into foul trouble early. So uh, KU coach, coach Brian, he had to rely on, I call it the sparks of the game. He had to rely on Paris Gaines. He had to rely on uh, Diana Pop. I'm going to call her, they call her Pop. I, I don't want to mess her name up, number 14. So we're just going to call her Pop right now. Skylar Gill. Now, the bench only scored six points but sometimes just the other people presence in the game you might not have to score but just the body on the floor and be a presence to detour the best players on the floor it helps out it helps out in the long run and so just those three players pop uh paris game skylar gill those, those players in the game you know while while uh, twin was in foul trouble really really helped out in the first half it really did they didn't you know k-state didn't didn't have you know seven for 21 from the field for aoka lee 
I mean, only a double double fourteen eleven. I mean, you're doing your job. <laughs> you, you, I mean, Aoka's gonna get her points, but to, but to hold her to just fourteen points, that's pretty doggone good for your basketball team. Another thing that I did notice in the game was the amount of fouls that was that was committed. Uh, the foul count was eleven. Case they had eleven fouls. K you had nine fouls. So we really this literally was a defensive sided game, defensive minded. The largest lead by KU was eleven in the first quarter. The largest lead by K State was seven. That was in the third quarter. So I got it. We got to give credit to where credit is due. This was a, this is a rivalry game. This is supposed to be close. This, this is supposed to be a. I'm coming in here, guns blazing. I'm laying it all on the line. This ain't about Oklahoma. This ain't about Texas. This ain't about Central Florida. This is not about Houston. No, this is about my my neighbor down the street who, um, and they talk trash all during the year, Manhattan and Lawrence, who the better school, who the flagship school is. This is, this is about bragging rights. This is about, this is about bragging rights. You know, the first, the first game, KU lost by nine points in Manhattan. There was no Ioka Lee. There was uh, Tayana played maybe eight or nine minutes in that game. And now you got and now you got your stars playing in the game. Also, another thing that I noticed in this particular game was the backcourt of Kansas State. Uh, Jalen Glenn was 0 of 3 from the field. Uh, Br- Braley Gwynn was, was, it was 3 for 4, but she only scored 7 points. Uh, Serena Sundell for K-State only had 2 points. So they pretty much, the, the Kansas State defense did its job and shut down the backcourt, the starting backcourt of Kansas State. Terrence, Sly, Terrence Sides had 11 points, and she comes off the bench and, and, and chipped in. Sanchez has six. Uh, Elza Mep, Mepin had, had six. So the bench really kept Kansas State in the game. Uh, Coach Jeff, who coaches uh, the Kansas State team, he, he he discussed about you know he ran different set play he had different plays called for them and they didn't execute so it really was about who could execute the best who could shut down who and make adjustments that's what basketball is about basketball is a game full of runs and adjustments as we move forward into the season as I'm recording this right now on a Wednesday. Both KU and K State play games this evening. KU is at Central Florida this evening. They'll be playing at five o'clock Central Standard Time. I did see Central Florida in person when they played K State. I'm going to say this right now. Some people call this a what we'll call this a trap game because right now the bubble experts are saying that KU is one of the last four teams in the field after a huge win. So my question is how. Does KU carry that momentum from a big emotional win on Sunday into Wednesday at Central Florida? You know what Coach Brian said? Defend. Kansas has to defend. I believe even even though Central Florida is three and thirteen in in conference play right now, it's all about confidence. They have they have had some close games. They nearly not knocked off Kansas State. In, in the Little Apple, when I when I went a couple of weeks ago. And Coach Sativa is going to have her women fired up. She's going to have them girls ready to play. And they're going to bring their best foot forward be, trying to beat, knock off the Kansas Jayhawks. And for Central Florida to come up and beat Kansas would, would be a huge boost of confidence for those young ladies at Central Florida. So Kansas plays Central Florida tonight. 5 o'clock Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus. Well, excuse me, ESPN Now (laughs) on the ESPN app. Let's go to K-State. Now, K-State tonight plays for senior night. They they will be playing the Iowa State 
Cyclones. I'm about to say the Iowa Hawkeyes. No, Iowa State Cyclones. Now, last time that, that they met up with Iowa State in Ames, Iowa, um, Hilton Magic, everybody likes to call it. They went to overtime with Iowa State and lost by three points. This team has played a lot of close games and they've been able to close some and they haven't been able to finish some. But now this game is going to be back at Bramlage Coliseum tonight. We're going to see what Kansas State is made of. It's, it's, it'll be a revenge factor. A revenge factor game for K-State at the house, senior night. Nine times out of ten is going to be packed out. They're going to be throwing flowers, giving their thanks to the seniors of Kansas State. Right now, Kansas State is, the, is holding the, the third seed right now in third place. In the Big 12, Kansas is the seventh seed. This is a great opportunity for both of these teams to move up a spot or two. Definitely for Kansas. If Kansas beats Central Florida tonight, they play Oklahoma on Saturday. If they finish out this season strong, they probably could go up to like maybe a sixth seed or a fifth seed. And it also depends on the matchups too as well. But they got to take care of business at Central Florida, and then they got to take care of business. They got to take care of business first with Central Florida. Then we'll jump to Oklahoma. But, but Central Florida, like I said earlier, is no joke. As well as now, Kansas State has a chance too as well because Kansas State, because Oklahoma and Texas are going to play each other. I think, they, I think they play each other tonight or Saturday. Actually, it's going to be tonight. So there might be a possibility for Kansas State to move them into the standings as well. Also, Texas is on, you know, possibly on the line, possibly for a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. So that's going to be huge for them as well. But hoping the ladies do well tonight, both teams. I will be watching both games. I'm going to give you my thoughts and analysis after I watch those games on this segment. Like I, I like to call the Rock Chalk e segment. I'm still trying to, I don't, you know, I don't know if we're going to call it KUK State segment. But I like the e which means every man a wildcat, in rock, chalk, Jayhawk. I think I'm leaning toward that. But, but anyway, enjoy the games. Uh, look forward to talking to you more about women's basketball as we get down the stretch, getting ready for the Big 12 tournament. Till next time, this is Al High, part of the BS3 Network, host and founder of Casual Highlights. We'll, t- we'll see you soon. Peace. Thank you for listening to Casual Highlights Podcast. Like, share, and subscribe to the podcast. Also follow the platform on Instagram and YouTube at Casual Highlights. That's H-Y-G-H-L-I-G-H-T-S. Till next time, disrespect your senses.